Welcome to Western Wisconsin Journal. I'm Bobby Pominville and I'm your reporter on the arts. And today I've invited one of my favorite musicians from Hudson. And I must tell you, this is a delight for me because she is my former student. And I just saw that wonderful spark in you, Jodell, from the beginning. And now to have you here and to be able to work with you on various groups in town, it's just wonderful for me. And I want to tell the audience, she is a music teacher and accompanist. She's a private piano teacher, and I know she plays the organ too, so I've probably forgotten a few things here. But I do know she is one of my favorite musicians. So now I'm going to start with a little bit about you, Jodell. Uh, I know you're active in town teaching a lot, and I just want you to tell us how you were influenced by music while you were growing up. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. That was a long time ago. Yes, it was. I was fortunate to, um, to be raised in a family where both my father's and my mother's families were very musical. Oh. So everywhere we went, we had a piano and mm -hmm. lots of mm -hmm. singing and dancing. and So it's helpful to grow up with that. It is and then take piano lessons and um, have a great elementary music teacher. <laughs> and I don't, I think you were single back then. That was I so was single ago, uh, at I first. Think. And it was really delightful because I was 21 when I started. Oh, and it was good. my first job. Wow. So obviously I just fell right into it and loved Hudson. Well, I'm so, so glad you chose <laughs> Hudson because that was a huge um, turning point for me, just knowing, learning to sing and read music and, and um, got the opportunity under you, Bobby, to yes. accompany my first choir. Yes. And I have to say, for me, as a musician, there's many different aspects that you can learn to do and enjoy mm -hmm. but for me I, I was terrified of recitals I did not, really did not like to play solo oh. and I kind of dreaded you know that I love the practice and the preparing oh, yes. but the yes. actual doing by myself yes. but when I got a taste of playing and accompanying and in more of a collaborative role I just knew right away yes in fifth sixth grade that that's what I just absolutely oh. love to do so. and you know coming out of college and uh, looking for a student who could accompany and I thought I don't know what I'm gonna find here I'm sure there'll be somebody who's taken piano lessons and it was like unbelievable because you were already so far advanced that you could play just about anything and those songs that I was teaching, sometimes they were partner songs in various things. Mm -hmm. But you just sat down, and I think I even had a little audition. And there several gals good, came in. Good players. Mm -hmm. And um, right away, I, it was very easy for me, because not only that, but I was directing or trying to direct fifth graders, and that is not easy. Right. And you certainly followed well. And it just made my job so enjoyable. Well, so thank you. Thank you for getting me like started. Like I said, <laughs> that spark was there. Mm -hmm. And I never dreamed I would find such, such an excellent accompanist. And then to, to have you doing it now for some groups I'm in, it's just gone full circle. It, it really has. What fun. really has. And I, I just can't imagine you teaching piano and how much you can impart to these kids. And I mean, you probably know from your own students that you find the ones that are really fun to work with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And talented. And do you, do you work with a lot of people who accompany? I like my students to experience that, and we do that each That's spring good. by playing duets or trios or some oh, kind yes. of an ensemble. Yes. It's more fun than using a metronome and 
learning to have to listen to a conductor oh, in a box. Yes. So they struggle yes. with wanting to play faster, slower, fix a mistake, and the other person isn't. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like I am able to teach a little bit of that mm -hmm. and get them at an early age used to playing with somebody else because it, it really is a collaborative thing. Well, it is. About accompanying. It is. And um, I so. was teaching piano for many years. And I found in some instances that it was really hard to motivate them to practice. Oh, yeah. They wanted me to be their teacher, but they came and they were like, oh, I don't need to practice. And that really stumped me for a while. It took a lot of motivation and a lot of reward type things. Yeah. So, I mean, that was tough for me because I guess I was like you. I always liked to practice. I would sit for two hours and practice, and I thought nothing of it. Yeah. And, you know, I, yeah, I remember getting a little nervous at recitals. And I didn't really accompany, well, I did accompany my sister a lot and my father because we were all singers. And we had a little trio in town. But then I started really accompanying more in, I guess, in the upper grades in high school, a little bit like you. Because I was one of the piano accompanists at the high school where I was. Nice. And I loved accompanying. <clears throat> it's like you said. You sit there and you're working together. And I just found such joy in that. Mm -hmm. You know, probably even more so than soloing. I think it really, it, it really inspired me a lot, too. And I did a little bit of that in college. But I was really focusing on voice then. Okay. So... But anyway, okay. now tell us about your, um, I want to know about how you got into the high school thing. How I got back into the high school. Because, you know, everybody <laughs> knows you. Everybody, say, uh, when I say, oh, I'm going to interview Jodell, they go, oh, do you mean that lady that accompanies? She is so good. Oh. And I say, well, yeah, I take just a little bit of ownership there. Because, you know, you are well-known around town, and people are astounded by what you do up there. Well, I, I'm just so excited that people come to the concerts oh. and support be, this program because it just then in turn, yes. you know, encourages our fabulous faculty there well, to continue to do what they do. So... Yeah, and I do think our music department is so outstanding here. Mm -hmm. They really are. And I'm are. so proud of it. They are. They really, are. Really, because um, for years, you know, the people do ask me sometimes when they come up to me and I say, well, yeah, I'm retired, but the music program is so wonderful here. Mm -hmm. It's so advanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the difficulty of the music done at the high school. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now tell me, when you get some of these really difficult pieces and Andy's having you sight read or whatever, and I'll bet you do such a good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what usually happens is I'll get the music a, a week before the concert. Or What? Yeah, I'm not there full time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so of course. I have a little bit of time to work at home. And then oh, I come in my. a few days before the concert. I get it usually two to f three to four rehearsals with the kids. Right. And it doesn't go well, of course, the first oh, time my. we're together because the kids are not used to having a conductor. Mm, that's and true. they play, they rehearse it different than they hear the real accompaniment. And it just, so we have to work oh, really yeah. quickly together. So, oh, my. Yeah. That's even more difficult than I thought. Yeah, we do kind of. Because I thought he would give it to you in advance more. Well, it, somewhat. Yeah, yeah. Of course, a lot of times I think um, Andy may be still considering this or that or the other thing. And, you know, making a decision down the road. Oh, I guess we will do this. And maybe sometimes the singers have to be prepared too. Yeah, it's really fun and carries groups too with the girls and oh, it just yes. comes together. I get I to be there all that. day and do 
you know, you get the freshman girls and yes. and that is a very special age. And I agree. They're all just very unique and the sound of four part Girls the Chanteuse Choir is fabulous. And oh, yeah. So I look forward to to doing that and we do so I many enjoy that too. different groups and different concerts and you know our our huge holiday concert oh my is probably the I'll, I'm there usually the most for that because there's just so much to do and prepare and and then of course our pops concert that are yes. music that the kids really 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 yes, like right that's away fun for them. <laughs> yes so, very much so, so and it's then, great it's then you're it's usually great. involved in the musical too and then I do the musical in the fall in the yeah. pit and that's wonderful really really dedicated kids that yes stick with that very and much so work and really hard for a long time and so. sitting out in the audience I can't tell you how much I enjoy that isn't that fun? it's just something that's really delightful to see those kids how hard they've worked yeah. and yeah, I they just, do oh I've enjoyed that so much but um, I have to say it's quite amazing now you also one of your jobs is to sub in music, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a lot of teaching in, I bet. It's really fun. I I don't do a lot, but it's very very fun to mm -hmm. support those. Um, well, all, all all levels. I'll, I will sub at the high school oh, as well, yes. but mostly the elementary and yes. to see what they're doing, see what they're learning. I think um, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. I always enjoyed elementary, and that was it my is. main job for quite a few years. It's a break in the students' day, and so I feel like we get to have the most fun. And they really so. like it. <laughs> they I do. Mean, it's such a positive. They do. And I always advocate for the whole brain mm -hmm. and the education of the mm -hmm. whole child. So to me, music is extremely important to every child. Mm -hmm. And I love to see them all do it in some facet because it really is just such a delight once you get into it. I oh, mean, right. sometimes you have students who think, oh, I don't want to be in music. But I think like in elementary school, they all love it. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. adore it. Well, now we're going to talk about the River City Chorale. Is this our eighth year? I think it is. Has it been that many? I can't many? believe it's that many. <laughs> it's seven yep. or eight. It and of course, great. we both um, have worked with Andy Hayes, and he's also the vocal director at the high school. And he's been on the show a couple times. But um, the summer chorale just started. I want to talk to you about that. We just began our rehearsals in May. We have three concerts coming up this year instead of two. And I know it all began with Andy's dream. And it's a choir for the community. And it does appeal to, I think you have to be 16. So some of the high schoolers are mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So he's drawing from all that. And plus the community was so ready for that. Mm-hmm. So the numbers came out, and I could not believe how many people showed up for rehearsals. And even this year, I heard it's about 150. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage people listening to this show to join that choir as quickly as possible on Monday nights from 7 to 9. And I just w want your take on it as the accompanist. Um, what is your thought on that, on the success of that group? Oh, it, it's really exciting. It is. It's really exciting. There's nothing better than, like you said, the high school kids yes. with, with seniors, with moms, dads. Well, uh, yeah. It's just such a great combination of voices and people and... Um, Really, really neat, and I, I, I think that a couple other communities have started community choirs oh. after being a part of ours, and thought, oh. "Oh, this is really a good thing," because we were drawing, we are drawing from other towns. Oh yeah, 
and and that's we that's are. a sign of a really really good thing. Yeah, that, and I think it's been started. I so. think a lot of times he says the St. Croix Valley. You know, we draw from the St. Croix Valley, but and there are other choirs. But I do think, don't you, that we have such an enthusiastic director. Yeah, we do. That people like to come. You never just sit there and sing. You're just challenged all the time. And some of the music we were just talking about before is so difficult. Yeah. Even for me. So I've had to work on some of it. And I just feel like everything's in place for success of that group. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, we had a first time Christmas chorale um, last December, and that was a huge success mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And the concert that was put together with all the different facets, including our youth choir, mm -hmm. which is really starting um, you know, starting them younger and having them get such a wonderful experience. So it must be fun for you to sit at that piano. It, you know, it is. It really, I have the best seat in the house, of course. But, <laughs> but you know, I, what I love about our rehearsals, and I think other people do too, is the expectation coming every week. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a million things you could do rather than come to a choir rehearsal. But the expectation is that you will learn things that you didn't know before. That's true. How to sing, how to pronounce, how to oh. just so many, so many, so many good things that happen every week. But there's also the unexpected things, the humor and the funny oh. moments. And it's, it's really a lot of fun You're because right you don't there. know And Andy what's gonna and himself happen. is funny. <laughs> I mean, he'll just, he, he'll do such funny yeah. things and it'll just be he knows how to work with people yes and he knows how to draw a lot out of people and in in spite of all that craziness you just learn so much yeah yeah I the mean, time goes fast and, and and you know I think a lot of people are worried about their voices oh I haven't sung in years and years I can't do it I don't read music very well blah blah, blah. you really don't have to because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can draw it out of you. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're there to help you, yep. teach you. We do a lot of sectionals. Yes, I was going to mention that too. Really helpful for those individual. We post online, you know, voice parts so that you yes. can practice in your car if you want that extra yes. time to rehearse. So really, there's no, there's a lot of resources available to make it work if you're not a, you know, a great reader, but. Um, it is a lot of fun. He, every year we have a completely different program, don't really, we? Really, we do. Just and I've learned a so many of... things that I I've never um, approached some of this music before. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, like singing in a church choir, you don't always get to sing all the fun things either. So I mean, I love the church music. Don't get me wrong. For sure. But so let's look at some of the music. Mm -hmm. This ought to attract some of us. This is one of my favorites. You'll Never Walk Alone with Climb Every Mountain, Rodgers and Hammerstein, and of course, your favorite musical, or one of them, one of mine is The Sound of Music. And there was just an anniversary this year, and I saw Julie Andrews. That is going to be a tearjerker. Mm -hmm. I know we'll have Everybody fun Everybody loved that. that when we read through it. Just Oh, I didn't get to that night. Fun. Number. That was a lot of fun. Another one that we're doing that's really looking good to me is Irving Berlin's America. And some of the pieces that are in here are <laughs> excellent. There's no business like show business. Alexander's Ragtime Band. You know, I've been looking for that music for years. You know what, my husband, <laughs> I, I talked him into joining choir too. He has a great voice yes. and he needs to yes, sing. Yes, he does. In that Alexander Ragtime, he said, oh, that was our swing choir tryout piece in high school. <laughs> no way. So he was really oh, fine. humored by this opportunity to do it again. Yeah. When I saw it. Yeah, it's great. Putting, putting on the Ritz, mm -hmm. Blue Skies Always, and God Bless America. 
So that medley is going to be very popular with us and I think with the audience. Oh yeah, be fun to perform. And I think that'd be a lot of fun for you to play. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also a lot of inspirational things here. And that's music that speaks to me too. And somewhat religious, a festive Pray, sing a mighty song, evening prayer. I, I don't know all this music yet, but I think these look kind of fun and sort of contemporary, Moonlight and Rain. Mm -hmm. And we read through that mm -hmm. the other night. That mm -hmm. was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And Cornerstone, I don't know anything about that. It's one. a gospel piece. Oh, that's the gospel one. Yes. <gasps> Every we year we do that. have to have kind of a oh, yep, my goodness. super rhythmic. and I know it. And you know, we all have trouble with rhythms. We do. We do. And I tell you, this is going to challenge us. But it does have just such, such fun. Yeah, it's a style of music. It's important to do yes, it. It is. A nice. I, I think there's nothing harder than syncopation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people struggle with it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you think about jazz musicians. Right. Boy, they can really nail it. And now here's another thing I noticed. Is there like a piano solo in here? Because <laughs> sometimes you have to go on a piano solo. You know, I, I know there will be time. a vocal solo. Oh, so there'll be a vocal. Yeah, we, we always have those gals that can really take hit our it. liberties usually with those and have a little fun. And if not in the middle, at the end. And sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, and That'd and also fun. I have to say, whenever we do a gospel piece. You really excel. Oh, it's super fun. Because <laughs> you just play those rhythms so easily. And super fun. Well, and, and, and I have to say, Andy is, um, how can I say, kind of passionate maybe oh yeah. about his conducting so. and directing. So Definitely. you he just gives you permission to oh, yeah. go over the top with the style appropriately. <laughs> and and that, that it's what it takes, the energy that it takes to do that. Yeah. He just pulls that out, I think, of, of people singing, and I know I can say that that's for me, too. Yeah. So. And I remember, was it down in the park last year? I think we ended with a gospel piece and a soloist, and I didn't want it to stop. It seemed like every time we did it, more and more and more, it just became so infectious. I just, it was just a delight, and the audience response was so wonderful yeah I mean, yeah I that just, will happen again i felt so appreciated you know when they were enjoying that and oh do we have some good soloists we do oh, unbelievable we do. i don't think i ever heard gospel till i got to college that's the kind of right growing up i had it was yeah. just pretty straight you know yeah. what i mean yeah no i love that that's included in our i do too Program. Now, here's a new piece for me, Serenade to Music, Rafe Von Williams, and the words are by Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't had much time to look at this, so do you have any comments? It's difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. A little bit longer piece. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because challenging piano. Vaughn Williams can it. have some very unusual harmonies too. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it looks like it's eight It's broken parts. up with a lot of solos. So I think yeah. it makes it interesting with the solos interspersed and kind of tells a little story. So uh -huh. it, uh -huh. it's one of those pieces uh, when we sight read through a little bit of it yeah. It isn't that instant, oh, I love this, like you'll never walk alone. Oh, yeah. Where you just go, oh, I love this, I know this, I can sing this. Yes. This is going to take some extra time. Oh, yeah. And it will be I well so. worth it. You know, it'll take, it'll take a while. I just noticed there's eight or nine parts. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. the bases have to divide mm -hmm. into three groups. So this is going to be a lush harmony. It will be beautiful. Very fun. And with soloists, I know there's a soprano solo, and I think there's a baritone, if I saw that right. I don't know. It says bass. Bass or baritone solo. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be um, a new piece for me. Oh, there's an alto, too. 
just found it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a new piece for me, and it's something that it's going to challenge. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it's going to be really fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really fun. So anyway, those are the things we're doing. And I think we need to make a little plea for more singers. I didn't mention tenors and basses, but I'm going to mention that. Sure. I would love to see more men joining us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be wonderful because we have a lot of women, and it's great. I mean, it's just a massive group of women. Probably 100 plus, I would say. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to worry about you know, your singing because you're going to blend in and you're going to learn so much from other people. Mm -hmm. But I, I really would like to invite more tenors and basses to come and anybody else who's interested in singing and having an enjoyable time. I do know he likes you to come to rehearsal, though. Right. That's right. important. When you commit, you, which is right, you need to come, and a lot happens yes. in those two hours, and you'll be glad that you came. Yes. Because we do really move forward each week. And, yes. And... Uh, can't help you if you're not there. No, the that's music, right. So. And you know, with some of these more difficult pieces, you really need to be there. But I, I also, I love the, the camaraderie and, you know, I, we, I, Leanne and I worked with the men last week in a sectional and oh, yes. they just get to know each other and yes. it, there's just a good connection. There, there is. So I would, yeah, I would definitely encourage more men that want to come. There's some really, really good good singers and I agree they they lead and help and, and it really is fun to be there yeah it's yeah. just a great time and uh, all ages all and I also like the concerts because I like performing because mm -hmm. I think that's another facet where I enjoy it so much when you're sharing it mm -hmm. with people well, and that's in our vision statement, I think, of this group, isn't it? To, yes. to help educate and enrich yes, it is. Our, ourselves and then in turn our audiences too. So, Yes, definitely. And um, I, I have the concert schedule ahead of me. In front of me, I should say, July 20th starts the concerts. Oh, my gosh. I, hear it's, I know it's June already. Whew. Yeah. We have to hurry a little to get ready for that. <laughs> All the concerts are at 7 p.m. That first one on a Monday is at the Hudson High School Auditorium. We usually fill it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in a week later, on another Monday, we go to Como Park Pavilion in St. Paul. That's something new for us. Mm -hmm. I suppose you'll have to load up your keyboard, huh? We'll have to bring something. Yeah, to. I doubt that they have a piano. <laughs> but I assume they have a nice shell there of some kind. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hope, hoping for a nice weather and there's nothing better oh, than yes, of families and have picnicking and, and a good concert. Well, too. and then the last one has to have good weather too. <laughs> That's Thursday the 30th of July. So within 10 days there, we got three performances, and that's at the Lakefront Band Shell, downtown Hudson. That's always a fun night, especially if we have good weather. Yeah, it really is. And again, she has to bring her keyboard. But you have a pretty good keyboard, too. We do. We do. We use the one from the high school, and we have lots of help. So I think that's very good. Good sound system. and Yeah. Yeah. And so um, also, if they're interested in signing up or finding more information, we can put up the website for the Corral, which is www.therivercitycorral.com. And I hope that people will look for that. Well, Jodell, this has been so special for me. Thank you. To talk Thank to you, you and make music with you. And I've known you for so many years now. It's just a delight, and I just love that your husband sings. I wish my husband was a singer, but he's not. <laughs> but yeah. I have just met so many wonderful people in that group, and I just really promote it because I think it's wonderful for us to have this in, in Hudson. 
I agree 100%, and thank you for your part well, in all you do well. and the work on the board. There's so many people <laughs> behind the scenes, aren't oh, there? Oh, yes, heavens. And that make this happen and plan our little events that we do as a, as a group. And yeah, we, have, we actually have some social things, too. We do. So See? I know we're going to be going out uh, for a couple of, uh, I think we're going to a brewery this year, and we usually have ice cream at a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, probably after one of the concerts, we might be able to go out and enjoy a little time together, too. Mm -hmm. no, I really appreciate all the whole board that I do too, does and this, I, and sometimes the emails come you know, we need you. <laughs> it's true. In a half an hour, please come and help do this or set up that. Yes. And there are just some really great people yeah. involved. So Yeah, we've grown a lot in the few years and, and we are now a nonprofit and I do really um, hope we everybody would support us. And we need that support too. We do in many ways. So hopefully you can come to one of our concerts and I hope you feel like you know Joe Dell a little bit better today. I know I have really enjoyed talking with her and I want to thank you again for coming today. Thank you. And we'll see you at one of those concerts. Thanks for watching.